Hey everybody, today we are going to be continuing our discussion on the Aztec civilization. Today's focus is Aztec art and architecture, Aztec public works, Aztec writing, and the Aztec calendars. So art and architecture. So we're going to talk about architecture which includes some public works as well. Remember, public works are government projects that benefit um, the people. So, temples. Aztecs built temples. Temples um, were a major part of each Aztec city. The temple is where they worshipped the gods, where they made sacrifices or offerings to the gods. Remember the temple was built on top of pyramids and it was the highest and most magnificent structure in the city. Palaces were also built. The palace was home to the emperor. We have found, well not we because I haven't, I didn't do it, but historians and archaeologists have found ruins of um, Montezuma's palace and his palace, which is the diagram at the bottom of the page, his palace had five interconnecting buildings that included his office, chambers where his children and his wives stayed, and it also Montezuma's palace had a zoo in it. The Aztecs also built city walls for protection against invaders. City walls are also considered public works because they they were government projects that benefited the people. So city walls for protection, ball courts, so some type of, and we saw this on Monday when we did our, our game, these ball courts were kind of like mini stadiums where they played um, the different games. Adobe houses. Um, so if you look at the diagram, let's talk about this for a second. All right, this is a house of a commoner. It's an adobe house, which an adobe house is made of um, clay, bricks that dried in the sun. Okay, um, it is a single room house divided into different sections. The, Azt the, the Aztecs, um, the commoners, had little furniture in their homes. And they had a place to worship. So they had shrines within their homes. They had a place to sleep where everyone in the family slept. They had a place to prepare meals, kind of like a small kitchen, and they had an eating area. So those were some of the main areas in this one room house. All right, of course, the intermediate and the noble classes had more luxury houses, bigger homes. Here's a couple more examples of public works and also architecture. Government storehouses. The Aztec government would store surplus crops. Surplus crops is just extra crops that are not needed by the people. So they would store these extra crops just in case they had a bad year and it prevented people from starving. It's kind of like a backup plan. If not enough crops are grown, 
are produced in a given year. Okay, it keeps people from starving. So government storehouses, and also, I mentioned this last week in a discussion as well. Causeways are these roads. So here is an illustration of Tenochtitlan. You can see the temples and how much higher they are compared to all the other buildings. But if you look, and this is also a public work, you have these causeways or these roads in and out of the city. All right. They also had bridges on these causeways. That is also a public work. And remember the canals that they traveled by boats. So not only could they walk out of the city, but they could uh, uh, use boats to travel in and out of the city. All of those are also public works. So the causeways, the bridges, and the canals. All right, so very high-tech uh, architecture for the time period. So let's talk about some art. Stone sculptures. All right, so if you see the snake at the top of the screen, that is an example of a stone sculpture. Um, clay pottery. So they made bowls and uh, jugs out of clay. All right, those are very useful household objects. Feather work. All right, so they would do art with feathers. An example of this is also on this page. This is uh, Montezuma's feather headdress. They also had jewelry made of precious stones and metal, so jade and gold, for example. Featherwork products and jewelry only um, belonged to the noble, the nobles or the wealthy, okay? The commoners did not have access to this type of artwork, okay? so. Featherwork and jewelry were part of the wealthy, the wealthy people's lives. All right, they also had music, right? drums and flutes, shells. All of all of the art, um, the major and um, theme of all the art was religion. So most artwork in the Aztec Empire that was created during the Aztec Empire focused on religion in some way. So the writing system. They wrote in glyphs. Right? Glyphs are pictures or symbols used to represent words or ideas. Remember, they did not have an alphabet like uh, we do today in the English language. They use these pictures to represent words, ideas, events, etc. So again, if you look at the screen, the one I'm circling now, the symbol, is dog. And the, now the one I'm circling is house. And so each symbol represents an idea, a word, an event. They also had books. And the book is called a codex, or multiple books are called codices. So a codex is an illustrated book. It is long folded sheet of bark or deer skin. Okay, and so the example on the screen is of a codex, a very long folded sheet and has colorful pictures. And these pictures tell the story. These codices would either depict scenes of Aztec life or they would 
serve as official government records. So they, it would be the records of what the government was doing. Okay. Um, there are very few complete codices left. Most of them were burned by the Spanish as a, because they were seen as pagan, which means they went against Christianity. So they were burned. All right, so the writing system, they wrote um, in glyphs, and they had illustrated books known as codices. And last, let's talk about the calendar, which was a great advancement. They had two calendars. One was, was a religious calendar. It was used to keep track of religious ceremonies and festivals because they wanted to make sure they dedicated a certain amount of time to the various gods. So in the religious calendar, there was 260 days, as it was a um, lunar calendar, which is based on the phases of the moon. All right, so religious calendar used to keep track of religious ceremonies and festivals. And then you had a farming calendar, and it was used to know when to plant seeds and when to harvest crops. All right, so when was the right time to plant and when was the right time to harvest or to pick the crops, all right? This calendar was 365 days because it was a solar calendar based on the movement of the sun. In this 365-day calendar, it was not like ours, there was 18 months each month, each month had 20 days, and the extra five days were considered unlucky, so Aztecs stopped all activities during these five days. And then after these five days, they had a religious ceremony where they would sac uh, make a human sacrifice as an offering to the gods to keep them happy. Okay, that's it on our discussion on the Aztecs. Um, art and architecture, public works, written um, language or the writing system, and the calendar.